I've been looking at designs for making a truck rack for my 2015 Tacoma short bed and I didn't really come up with any on the internet so I kind of had to design my own. This is what I came up with. As you can see it comes apart into four pieces so it's pretty easy to stack against a wall. I'll go ahead and show you some of the stuff I used. So I have a U-bolt right in the middle and I bolts on each end so I can you can stack two kayaks side by side, strap them down. Down here for the actual rail system, I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna slide these three eighths, four inch bolts in. And this washer actually catches behind, behind the rail. And for the other side, there's a, have a regular washer and a lock washer. And for the sideboards here, these are gonna go, I used full, half inch by four inch carrier bolts. Yeah, you can see how easy it is to put it in. First thing I'm gonna do is take these bolts off. Now the trick with this is, you can try to slide them, you can slide them all the way from the end of the rail, but I found it's easier to just go ahead and put the Put the actual rail here and then slide the screws in from the end. So as you can see it's actually a little bit shorter than each side. I needed that to get first to get it in, be able to get it in and then have enough play with the the bolts. I'm doing here is taking the bolt with one washer, slide it right in the end. If you see, if you turn this just enough, it has just enough play to be inserted into that. Do the same with the other side. This is the only tricky part, actually finding the right angle to insert both pins at the same time. There we go. So now as you can see, it's sitting right in the, the rest, but it's uneven on both sides, so you just, just want to pull it a little bit. I just want to pull it so there's enough enough room on each bolt. So then enough just the washer followed by a lock washer and the nut. Washer and lock washer, lock washer and nut. You can see that that side is plenty, will have plenty of space. So when I tighten it, I'll actually tighten this side first so it'll make sure to be fully threaded. As you'll see, it's you can set it right behind the rail, so there's not much difficulty getting it to slide in. That's the same setup as up front. Now 
as you can see, I can slide this one directly in. Now, I only actually want to slide it in about an inch so I can get as much distance between the rails as I can. That size in. So there we are so far. Now we just have two rails to connect to connect to each other and make sure it's in support. I skipped ahead a little bit until I had everything tightened down. As you can see, I have a full truck rack now. These these all bolted down here and here. I figure out this would be the best way to actually utilize the rail system instead of trying to go around it. As you can see, I can put the cap, cap back on. And it comes out very solid. You can see you move the rail, you're actually moving the truck as well. So it's not nothing would go anywhere. And even using the heavy duty parts and two by sixes, it still only cost me around seventy bucks at Lowe's. So I think it was a good deal. I hope this helps someone and good luck.